This is the Cabin for Game Yu Gi Oh podcast. I'm Bragg. I'm here with uh, this guy. Hey, I'm Logan. Snake Rat on Twitch. <laughs> We're here with another episode of uh, the Retro Throwback 10 years ago today. I think it's today that this episode is going up for yeah, Galactic yeah, Overlord. What a set. Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting <laughs> set. So this set probably has like the least impact on the meta at the time. Uh, yeah. But there's a few there's a few hidden gems in there, so it's it'd be kind of cool to dig through. I think it's a set of hidden gems, not a set that's going to do anything else. And even then, hidden gems, it's like it's okay. The two most relevant cards for the for the meta at the time were card card D for stun decks yeah. to give them a bit more card advantage, uh, and card card D would dodge just a whole bunch of like weird negate effects. So it was pretty good. And Insector Dragonfly is not the card I was thinking of. Well, that's an Order of Chaos, my guy. Insector Ladybug. Ladybug is arguably is way more impactful than Card Card yeah. So giving on. giving Insectors the uh, rank five access helped him with a little bit of utility, but this only really came up in regionals. Uh, mm. Ben has the WCQ results, and yeah, it's all. It is yeah, all wind ups pretty much. Uh, all, all wind ups and Dino Rabbit. Yeah. You've got. Pretty much half got wind up, the other half Dino Rabbit with one uh, anti monster, so hard card deck. Yep. Yeah. And uh, one Chaos Dragons. Actually, the Chaos Dragons are this. It's interesting, Chaos Dragons is in there. Yeah, it's. The Rise of Chaos Dragons inclining with the Fallen Insectors. Oh, yeah, I, I think actually that's something we experienced as well, of just. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, actually, that makes way more sense. It's just, oh, okay, you destroyed it. Well, I don't care. But while well, your Zen mains is there, mm. giving them the rank five access gave them to Adreas and Tiraz though, yeah. which helps. I'm surprised really how quickly they dropped. Yeah, because they like when Order of Chaos came out. We talked about this last time. It really was like the impacting game, yeah. and then by the time we get to Galactic Overlord, they've dropped off the face of the earth. Yeah, I, I don't know why Dino Rabbit wasn't so uh, prevalent in the OCG. Like it mm. was around. Um, I know that One Up Shark. Was definitely the nearly the difference for OCG, so that's why Insect because Insectors was huge in the OCG, yeah, um, and that's why we all thought Ladybug was going to be like a crazy impactful card, but it just yeah, yeah it didn't. This set didn't really sway much. It get, Guy Dragon the Thunder Charge is also a pretty good shout out. Like that's a hidden gem. Like that's that stuck around. It's, it's prevalent even to this day in some ways. A personal favorite card of mine of Heratic Sun, the Overlord Heliobus, the Rank Eight. Yeah, the Rank Eight. Like looks okay. sick. Does does puts in work, real cool. It doesn't really come up for a fair while. Yeah. Or nearly at all. There's like one potential format you can make an argument for it. Yeah. Uh, four debuts. The Heretics uh, debuted in this set, as well as the Bouncers. Uh, the Bouncers don't really do much except outside of their rank six. Their rank six is a hidden gem. Yeah. Especially on Strike Bouncer. I think like I think of some of the decks that come out later, like a fair bit later, like Hazy Flames. Played Phantom Strike Bouncer and stuff like that. Sorry, I forgot the biggest debut of all. Noble Knight Artorgius was the sneak peek promo mm. with the uh, with the wanker text, eighteen hundred attack, uh, and no other support in this set. That's it. Right. But still, it's a debut. Oh, influence dragons in this set. That was pretty cool. Shining Elf came up a couple times uh, later down the track with uh, some rank two decks. Mm. Uh, Interesting. Booten. 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 Best card in the game. You would say that. It's interesting that Noble Knight's only got one card. Yeah. My memory thought they had more in that set. That's uh, Return of the Jewels is their big one, yeah? Yeah. Is that next set? That's not next set, surely not. No, I don't think so. Return of the Jewels had the the weird little gadgets and stuff. In it. it had her. It had oh, the gadgets. Uh, Gear gears. They had like the heroics. Next set is indeed Return of the Doors. Huh. There's a battle pack, uh, Hidden Arsenal 6, and Return of the Doors. That's coming up the rest of this season as well. There's We're doing all sets. of those. There's three sets in between that. I don't, I could swear no, I, sets. I thought I'd. I knew Return of the Doors was their main set, but. Yeah. Wow, that's really quick. Because that's when we really solidify XEs. That's when, yeah, that's when XE Flight becomes like the thing. Yeah, like we get into what they're all about. At the moment, it's still just kind of. I don't know, Rabbit summons XEs or why not Rat? That just discards your hand, so let's go. Yeah. Um, the, well, the Chaos Dragon doesn't really use any XEs anyway, like. The Light Razor in this set, Logan. 
The Light Rays. Oh, God. There's a channel called Team Pokey Draco where we <laughs> we did that we did a Light Ray <laughs> week. We had five Light Ray deck profiles <laughs> no, in, a, in a pack opening. I don't think we did. No, we, we got five, didn't we? No, we did one each, and then the other three people didn't do it. <laughs> well, that was our that was our plans, and we had a pack opening as well. We light did a pack opening. That was good. I liked my Light Ray Light Swan deck. That was fun. So that guy. Yeah, hey, yeah. He liked it too. Woo! Orichalco <laughs> stun. With um. We've come a long way. I think. I think what we're trying to say is that we've come a long way. Well, that, that was definitely even by then. That was a joke deck. Oh yeah. Which I was having fun. Yeah. I, that's the thing. When he, when I said Booten, I didn't get a reaction. I naturally assumed. Oh, you're asleep. I feel so bad. I, we have to. Edit, like, we have to keep it in. We That's have great. to keep it in. We have to keep it in. That's great content. There we go. You are now not the only one who's fallen asleep. Yeah. They don't know I've fallen asleep on a podcast. Yes, you have. They don't know that. I guess I did edit you in. Yeah, I've been. <laughs> now gonna, if you figure out which podcast I'm edited into, good work. We definitely. I I edited Lachlan asleep. Actually, no, Lachlan has joined. Was is, yeah, Lachlan's done my. He's well. joined the esteem ranks of Logan and Lachlan. He's gonna fucking hate himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for some bad cards in set Trial and Tribulation I'm just going to say that I have bad memories of it mm. uh, You can activate one Trial and Tribulation once per turn During the end phase of the turn this card was uh, activated Apply this effect depending on the number of monsters you attributed this turn uh, If you accept tokens You can't attribute tokens uh, If you attributed one, you draw one card If you attributed two, add two monsters from your graveyard to hand If you attributed three, destroy three face up cards on the field uh, They... Was this this? Yeah, and this was a secret rare. That's right. Oh, That's yeah. why I hate this card. Yeah, like you pulling like on oh my. You God. go. Oh, this is absolute trash. And when they finally make monarchs good, this is still fucking trash. Why does this exist? Why don't you just let them do it immediately? I hate this goddamn fucking card so fucking much. Trial Jake, and tribulation. Jake, what do you think of that card? Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we've stalled long enough. Oh, Tardy Orc was the uh, the new uh, tour oh, bus. Oh, yeah, the new tour bus. Uh, that, that line of law support. Was well, also garbage, right? Yes, very garbage. Big Did garbage. it find any play? No. You reckon like, people did what they did with like tour bus and went like one event and they were like, no. If this was level three, it would be alright. Yeah. But it's level it's four. It's level four, yeah. Why didn't they just... They should have just made it level three and go, hey, tour guy can summon a 2200 beater. <laughs> like, why not? What's, what's it going to do? What's it even do? It doesn't do anything else. Uh, I can't take the turn as normal summoned. <laughs> yeah, but... It's broken. That's broken. What's it going to do? Uh, like, it's going to attack. Know. It's going to attack you. Yeah, good. I Attacking is obviously the best uh, form of interaction in this card game. Clearly. Very. Indeed. So, top three cards of the set for you. This is not much good shit. Um, well, I mean, card card D, I think, has to be... Oh, are we doing 3, 2, 1? Yeah. I've got Heretic Seal of Ashes at number 3. This card comes up pretty it's late. It's Techno it, isn't it? I don't know, probably. Producer, is Techno it? Yes. In it? Yeah, I think yeah. Techno it might oh, be yeah, my 3. Yeah. Techno it might be my 3rd. I think, like, it was, like... Yeah. Oh, my God. I pulled so after. many of the, um... Satik? 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 Oh, the blue one. Uh, no, the yellow. No, Sue was sick. Oh, Sue was awesome, wasn't it? Sue was good. Sue's the blue one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that card was good. Uh, but the Seal of Ashes really gave him like a, a bit of kind of energy power play, which comes up in a dra in some Dragon decks a little bit later. The Rota was pretty good as well for it. The oh, yeah, the Rota, Rota was Rota. really good. Yeah. Can I cl I'll clump all of those and say that was my number three. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Uh, card card there, number two for me. Yeah, two. And... I, I think Ladybug's number one, right? Like, even... I knew, even I knew though, what my number one was. Even though Ladybug didn't do much, I just think, like... Unless I'm missing some complete busted card. He's line. done it again. We we reminded him previous to this podcast starting. Num oh! Yeah, number one. Know. Number Night one for me. Nightbeam. Nightbeam. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> but see, because you know, Nightbeam is shit until I make it relevant. Nah, Nightbeam would come up. Nah, man, I'm... Yeah, when Silver Sentinel came out. <laughs> Don't make me search for Nightbeam. Search for Nightbeam. Yeah. It I won't definitely... Come up. 2018 Nats, I made it relevant. 
I am the man. Uh, the deck was the card was very relevant mid 2014, 2015. Yeah. Or for um hands? Yeah, it would have been a hand format. You stopped the trans stop the artifacts, right? Uh, I run into hands against um in Master Jewel. My god, they're annoying. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just like, oh yeah, shit. I forgot that that was so yeah. Yeah, they just keep repeating. It would have to be artifact format if it was 2014, 2015. Artifacts at all? Uh, 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 played a lot in Burning Abyss. To stop? Uh, played a lot in Please. Yeah, so it was to stop the artifacts and the, nightmare, the sanctums and stuff like that. Played quite a lot in what were Klee so scared of? Bottomless? Probably. No. Solemn? No, Solemn wasn't now, but then. It would have been Solemn. Oh, warning. Would have been warning. But no, you don't care about them chaining. That has to be something. But it probably is versatile to the artifacts and stuff like that. My fellow Night Beamers out there, let us know what you used it in 2014. You're we're all, fellow, you're we're all, fellow Night Beamers. I'm a Night Beamer. You're not a yeah, Night Beamer. Yeah, I, I have two original rare, yeah. like ultra rare Night Beams. Oh, ultra. I get ulties, man. Yeah, I just... I, I, I pulled the ones. I went, this is a real cool car. I'm going to stick with it. All these people jumping on the train of Night Beam. Andrew Jones. Night Beamers, let's do it! <laughs> I'm out of here. He's taking my thing. He's taking my gimmick. Uh, we'll this see you... We'll see you in uh, for Battle Pack Epic Dawn.